Bang, bang, bang. Countless medicinal pills rushed into the large formation from all directions. They were quickly turned into powerful energy. At the end, one could see that the energy within the large formation seemed to have turned into a liquid sea. Lightning-like loud sound was being emitted as it flowed, founding ancestor return. Yao Dan's hands formed many seals. His expression was ferocious as he suddenly cried out sternly. Crash! After the stern cry sounded, a swirl quickly appeared at the middle of the formation. An endless amount of liquid energy continued to surge into it. At the same time, an extremely ancient aura also slowly spread from within the swirl. The swirl rotated rapidly before quietly disappearing. At this moment, a linen-clothed illusory elderly figure appeared. Buzz! All the members of the Yao clan suddenly felt their souls trembling violently the moment the illusory old man appeared. A kind of pressure that originated from their bloodline immediately caused the countless figures present on this mountain to kneel down. Founding Ancestor The many Yao clan's elders were so greatly affected that tears flowed from their eyes. Their faces appeared a little crazy because of the excitement. Under the stimulation of their bloodline, the figure was just like a god, which they could not offend, in their hearts. Is this the Yao clan's founding ancestor soul fragment? Xiao Yan's expression was solemn as he looked at the figure. Even with his perfect heavenly state soul, he felt some difficulty breathing under the figure. This was merely a soul fragment that had remained for a seemingly endless amount of time. It was difficult to imagine just what kind of level a true elite Do Di would possess. Yao Lao's body trembled slightly as stood beside Xiao Yin. He looked at the illusory figure at the middle of the large formation with eyes that were filled with fear and respect. Han Huzi's eyes also became grave as he stood in the sky. The pressure that the illusory figure gave him was incomparably strong. This Yao clan was indeed not as easy to deal with as the Ling and Shi clan. Regardless of how it struggled, however, it would also have difficult escaping from the same fate. Ugh, Yao Di. Those black hole-like eyes of the black flame human figure beside Hun Huzi also stared at this illusory figure. A moment later, he emitted a soft sigh with some unknown feelings. Unfortunately, the ultimate expert from back then is currently just a soul fragment. Founding ancestor, please bless our Yao clan. Yao Dan knelt down in the sky and let out a low, respectful cry. Yao clan. The old man in rough linen clothes within the formation let out a low mutter. The long flow of time had left his little remaining memories to become increasingly blurry. However, it was fortunate that he still had a memory of the clan he had founded. Those extremely ancient eyes slowly swept over the area below. Finally, a mutter was emitted. It has actually declined until such an extent. An ashamed expression immediately rose onto Yao Dan's face after hearing the low mutter of the illusory old man. Although the current era was different from the ancient era, he did not voice any excuses. This is nihility devouring flame. The illusory old man did not speak to any of the members of the Yao clan. He slowly lifted his head and looked at the black flame, which covered the sky. A lost expression once again flashed across both of his eyes. He waved his sleeve and a light appeared on the formation. Those black flames, which were adhered onto it while devouring energy, were being forcefully scattered by him. Without a complete memory and without a complete soul, your muddy state is just like that of a puppet. The Yao Di has actually also turned into such a state. It's just as well. By capturing this remnant soul of yours, it would at least surpass that of a million complete souls. The nihility devouring flame smiled faintly in the sky. His tone did not contain the least bit of fear and respect. His hand was extended and his finger, which was covered with black symbols, pointed below. Bang! 
The entire place immediately crumbled as the nihility devouring flame pointed his finger forward. A huge black flame finger that seemed to cover half of the mountain range descended from the black flame which spread over the sky. It ruthlessly pressed towards the formation this entire space seemed to have completely cracked under the finger. The expressions of many turned ashen upon seeing this terrifying might. The black finger descended from the sky. However, it was just about to land on the large formation when the linen-clothed old man finally lifted his hand. A medicinal cauldron that did not lose to the huge finger in size appeared above the formation. The medicinal cauldron was covered with various mysterious lines. At a glance, it appeared as though it was real. An ancient aura spread from it. Hum. The huge finger heavily pressed onto the large cauldron. Immediately, a humming sound resounded across the sky. Grug. Some of the weaker individuals immediately spat out a mouthful of fresh blood under the frightening humming sound. Some of their eardrums were even blasted apart. Blood continued to flow out from their ears, giving them an extremely miserable appearance. The large finger scattered as the two collided. That medicinal cauldron had also become a lot more illusionary. The old man's figure had also paled slightly. Clearly, he had exhausted a great amount of energy. Just how many times a mere soul fragment can block me? The nihility devouring flame laughed faintly after his attack failed. His finger continued to press on the empty air. Immediately, the entire area shook. A couple of huge fingers descended from the sky and continuously struck violently onto the huge cauldron. Hum hum hum. A couple of crack lines were actually formed on the huge cauldron as this earth-shaking sound appeared. Everyone from the Yao clan, pour all of your Do Chi into the formation. Yao Dan's expression had changed drastically after seeing that the nihility devouring flame was actually unafraid of the founding ancestor soul fragment. He let out a stern cry. Immediately, the Do Chi within his body turned into a bright light pillar that shot into the formation. Countless light pillars also erupted from the other places. Immediately, the huge cauldron once again become real like. Moreover, it had actually directly flew out of the formation and whistled towards the nihility devouring flame in the sky this time around. Hun Huzi's expression changed after he saw the huge cauldron rushing over. His body hurriedly hid behind the nihility devouring flame. You have the strength of the Yao clan. So do I. The tone of the nihility devouring flame was still calm. With a wave of his sleeve, the entire Yao realm immediately began to tremble. Everyone were shocked to see that there were dense black flame clusters rising from outside this formation. Finally, they entered the black flame in the sky. Immediately, countless of miserable cries resounded over this place. It's the descendant citizens of the Yao clan. Xiao Yan's expression changed drastically. Those densely packed light clusters encompassed countless of wildly struggling human figures. These people were all the descendant citizens of the Yao clan. The moment they were being sucked into the black flame clouds, Xiao Yin could see that their bodies were turned into blood, which were completely devoured. What ruthless method! He didn't even let those descendant citizens off. Xiao Yin clenched his fist tightly. There were at least millions of descendant citizens in this Yao realm. Yet, all of them were devoured by the nihility devouring flame. Hun clan, your Hun clan will be an irreconcilable enemy of my Yao clan. The shocking change outside of the formation was also detected by Yao Dan. His eyes cracked slightly as his vicious and mad roar resounded over the entire place. The nihility devouring flame completely ignored Yao Dan's roar. He clenched his hand and a blood ball was formed. Immediately, it swelled at a terrifying speed. The members of the Yao clan could clearly sense a familiar scent from within the blood ball. Explode! The nihility devouring flame waved his hand after the blood ball swelled to 10,000 feet. 
Finally, it heavily collided with the huge cauldron flying over. A blood light covered the entire sky at that moment. Everyone seemed to have turned deaf at that moment. However, the blood-red color, which filled their eyes, allowed them to understand that this extermination-like clash was not an illusion. Bang! An indescribable frightening energy attack swept wildly from the sky. Many crack lines were formed from the explosion upon contact. Finally, it completely disappeared under the wild devourment of the black flame. The remaining annihilation force swept down and ruthlessly smashed onto the formation. Boom! The formation trembled violently as this force swept down. A liquid-like energy filled it as it scattered at a shocking speed. The formation is about to break. Looking at the increasingly pale large formation, the hearts of everyone from the Gu clan quickly became icy cold. They did not expect that this formation that was formed from the strength of their entire clan was actually unable to block this terrifying existence. The rough linen clothed illusory old man at the middle of the formation also softly sighed as he watched this scene. His mutter drifted into everyone's ears. This calamity cannot be avoided. His figure suddenly rushed out of the formation after his voice sounded. It turned into an illusory ray of light that cut through the black flame cloud with a speed exceeding the speed of light. Finally, it shot into the body of the nihility devouring flame. Bang! The collision between the two merely emitted a somewhat soft, muffled sound. However, the body of the nihility devouring flame trembled intensely. Soon after, his tone finally revealed a little fury for the first time. You, damn old ghost, disappear from this world. Black flame surged out from within his body in all directions. Immediately, a slight sound was emitted. It was as though a soul was shattered. The sound was soft, but the bodies of all the members of the Yao clan stiffened at this moment. They could sense that there was something which was quietly vanishing from their bloodline. Founding Ancestor Yao Dan's scarlet eyes dully looked at the sky. It was as though his belief had crumbled at this moment. Crack! The formation began to tremble even more intensely in front of the stunned expression of everyone from the Yao clan. Finally, it emitted a crack sound and exploded in front of many shocked eyes. The formation has been broken. Even this Yao clan's guardian formation had finally crumbled under the frightening energy assault that could destroy the world. It turned into countless of light spots that poured down from the sky. The luster emitted from them highlighted the many dull and stunned faces below. Despite having used all of their strength, they were still unable to change their fate. Many people felt terrified and hopeless under that demon god-like figure in the sky. Xiao Yan's expression was solemn as he watched this scene. The Dou Qi within his body began to circulate quietly. A black light flashed beside him and the northern king once again appeared. He also took a couple of steps back and stood beside Yao Lao. This danger was likely the most intense one he had ever come across. Even he did not have an absolute confidence to escape from this dragnet placed by the Hun clan. Yao Lao withdrew his eyes, which were looking at the sky. There was some moisture in them. Even though he did not have a deep feeling towards the Yao clan, the illusory figure from earlier was a godlike existence towards all the members of the Yao clan. Anyone with the bloodline of the Yao clan would sense an extremely important thing had suddenly disappeared after witnessing its complete destruction. You should leave first if anything goes wrong. The Sky Mansion Alliance cannot do without you. Moreover, you still have to rescue your father. Yao Lao spoke in a hoarse voice. Xiao Yan's expression changed slightly, but he did not speak. Those dark black eyes of his, however, revealed a determined expression. Teacher, be rest assured. Xiao Yan softly uttered those words after musing quietly. However, he did not know just what he meant by be rest assured. Yao Dan, who stood in the Madeir, 
slowly stood up in front of the countless pairs of eyes. The disappearance of that soul fragment had caused a huge hole to appear in his heart. However, he was after all the clan head. Hence, he swiftly suppressed his lost feeling. A low voice resounded beside the ears of all the members of the Yao clan. All clan members, now is the time when the fate of our Yao clan will be determined. The only thing we can do is to risk everything to preserve our bloodline. All elders, fight alongside me. Human figures rushed out from the mountain range in all directions after Yao Dan's final stern cry sounded. There were not only elders of the Yao clan present. Even some of the younger generation of the Yao clan had charged forward with reddened eyes. They understood that if they were unable to endure through this calamity, the Yao clan would completely disappear in history. The Yao clan was their route. Once they lose this route, they would end up roaming around without a home. All the glory and pride that they once had would be annihilated. Charge! Yao Dan's body trembled as he looked at the densely packed human figures charging up the sky. Monstrous Dochi erupted from within their bodies without holding back. Finally, it turned into a 10,000 feet large Dochi pillar that whistled out. Its momentum was shocking as it rushed towards the nihility devouring flame in the sky. Swoosh, swoosh. Countless of Dochi pillars of different strength rushed forward together behind the 10,000 feet large Dochi pillars. They were accompanied by a determination as they shot towards the nihility devouring flame from all directions. Xiao Yan's eyes became grave as he watched the Dou Qi, which had covered the sky. This kind of mighty retaliation was indeed worthy of the Yao clan. However, that person was far too terrifying. From his guess, the actual body of the nihility devouring flame had likely reached the extremely frightening eight or even nine star Doshan class. Otherwise, it would be impossible for him to destroy the Yao clan's guardian formation. Moreover, even the Yao D soul fragment had been scattered. The strength of the Hun clan is actually this frightening. No wonder it was able to quietly eliminate the Ling and Shi clan. Xiao Yin clenched his fist tightly. Moreover, the nihility devouring flame was the only one which had appeared this time around. That mysterious clan head has yet to appear. Perhaps he was preventing the Gu clan from detecting anything. Even though this was the case, just this alone had forced the Yao clan into such a state. The strength that the Hun clan hid was really shocking. Hun Huzi looked at the bright Dou Qi pillars that filled his eyes from the sky. His expression was slightly altered. If he was to even touch such an attack, it was likely that he would immediately be seriously injured. After all, this attack had basically gathered the full strength of the entire Yao clan. The eyes of Nihility devouring flame beside Hun Huzi, who was wrapped within a black flame, also fluctuated slightly because of those black hole-like eyes. Clearly, even he did not dare to easily slight this retaliation from the Yao clan. His palms, which was covered in strange symbols, were once again extended from within the black flame, after which they formed many seals with lightning-like speed. The black flame that covered the sky churned intensely. Finally, it formed a hundred thousand feet large black hole swirl. An indescribable frightening devouring force appeared the moment the swirl was formed. It erupted in all directions as it did so. Bang bang! In the face of such a frightening devouring power, the land within a hundred thousand feet immediately crumbled. Many ten thousand feet large crack lines spread from the ground. They were just like ferocious wounds which covered this spacious area. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Many large Dochi pillars continuously charged into the black hole like swirl. A low and deep explosion resounded within the back hole. Such a frightening energy assault caused even the incomparably large swirl to form some intense fluctuation. The black flame over the body of the nihility devouring flame continued to explode and form clusters of flames the moment the black hole fluctuated. 
His body staggered dozens of steps backwards. Han Huzi's expression changed upon seeing this. It is indeed not easy to deal with this Yao clan. That Yao Di soul fragment might have been scattered, but it had ended up causing the Nihility Sir to be injured. Now, the clan has gathered all of its strength and attacked. Even someone as strong as him has been pushed back. Hun Huzi's eyes flickered rapidly. The body of the Nihility devouring flame also stabilized. The black flame lingering over his body had diminished significantly as compared to earlier. It seemed that he was not feeling good about the all-out retaliation of the Yao clan. The Yao clan is not bad. You are indeed much stronger compared to the Ling and Shi clan. However, this will not change your final fate. The Nihility devouring flame steadied himself and looked downwards. His ancient hoarse voice was slowly emitted at the same time. After the hoarse voice of the Nihility devouring flame slowly sounded, the black flame, which spread across the sky, slowly revealed many egg-like balls. Black flame surrounded the ball. Many faint black light suddenly seeped out from the black flame cloud layer and rushed into that egg. Bang! Bang! Those densely packed light eggs suddenly exploded as the blood light entered. Immediately, many sharp screech resounded over the sky. Densely packed black fire figures poured down from the sky like a storm, after which they crazily charged towards the mountain range below. Everyone within the mountain range had a drastic change in expression as they looked at the black flame figures hurrying over in close proximity. Immediately, they circulated their Do Chi. However, their Do Chi had only just risen when a black light flashed in front of them. Many people felt a pain in their chest. After lowering their heads, they saw that there was already a huge bloody hole on their chest. Fresh blood and internal organs shot out from it. What are these things? Xiao Yan's expression was a little gloomy. He randomly rabbed a black flame figure. These things possessed the bodies of a human. However, those hollow scarlet eyes and the sharp wild beast-like claws allowed him to understand that there was quite a big difference between these things and humans. These things are able to devour the flesh and do chi of people. Yao Lao exclaimed. There were also a couple of black flame figures that had been blasted into clusters of black blood under his feet. The entire mountain range descended into chaos in the face of these strange black flame creatures' attack. Intense fights broke out everywhere. Miserable screeches continued to appear while scarlet blood dyed the land red. Yao Dan looked at the Medicine Mountain, which had swiftly descended into chaos from the Medair. His expression was extremely gloomy. With a wave of his sleeve, frightening Do Chi began to erupt and directly killed the hundreds of black flame creatures near him. After which, he grabbed with his hand and caught hold of a black flame creature. His eyes suddenly shrunk after he observed it for a moment. Finally, he violently inhaled a breath of cool air. Tungling Clan. How is it possible that such a clan still exists? Won't they completely eliminate it during the ancient era? Tunling clan? Below him, Xiao Yin, who had heard Yao Dan's shocked roar, knitted his brow slightly. He mused for a moment while feeling some uncertainty, after which he exchanged glances with Yao Lao and saw that the other party also had a lost expression. Clearly, the latter was also unaware of this so-called Tunling clan. Ha ha, you are indeed worthy of being the clan head of the Yao clan. Now, do you understand why my Hun clan has attacked you? Hun Huzi laughed in a faint voice. His eyes were extremely sinister as he looked at Yao Dan. No wonder. No wonder your Hun clan continues to exist since the ancient times despite the gradual decline of many clans. Yao Dan was incomparably shocked as he looked at the nihility devouring flame in the sky. It appeared as though he had discovered some extremely frightening thing. Soon after, his body suddenly appeared below. With a wave of his hand, dozens of young members of the Yao clan were grabbed in his hand. Elders of the Yao clan. 
self-destruct, and destroy the realm. We can die, but we must ensure that the seeds of the Yao clan's bloodline survives. Many experts from the Yao clan in the sky trembled after hearing this heartbreaking stern cry. Grief and determination flashed across their faces. Between the destruction of the clan and sacrificing themselves to retain their bloodline, they did not hesitate to choose the latter. At this moment, Xiaoyan also inhaled a deep breath of air. He grabbed Yao Lao's arm. Both of his eyes were stern. It was time. 